Hi, in today's video I wanted to answer a question that was asked of me um, on one of my YouTube videos. Um, this is for you Affinity Performance Horses. Um, they asked if I could do a feed routine video. So this video is for you. So um, what I wanted to start with is show you that um, they all have hay nets. So my routine is my horses are out on pasture of an evening. I have a herd of 20 horses, um, which includes 18 off the track thoroughbreds, um, a riding pony and a paint horse. Um, and some, they're all different ages and different area, like levels of where they are in their retraining and career and things like that. Um, but Basically, all my horses come in over daytime. They come in in the morning and they go in their yards. So if you have a look here, you'll see, um, I'll just give you an example. So I've got horses, they're all in their yards here, um, separate yards you can see. Um, I've got about nine at the back here. Um, but this is Snippy, so I'll give you an example of Snippy. Hey, Snippy. Hey, Snippy. So just a little info on Snippy. Snippy is an off the track thoroughbred and he was rescued from slaughter. Excuse my dogs barking in the background. Poppy, I'm doing a video. <laughs> Poppy, I'm doing a video. They're right next to the camera guys. Um, so Snippy is um, eating. As you can see, I have slow feeder hay nets in all the yards and I have a mixture of low sugar hay. Um, I I feed a grain free diet so I don't feed any grain at all in my in my horses diets um, and the hay is low sugar uh, low starch hay um, with a mix of loosened hay which is um, a good calcium and protein hay but um, it's generally low you know it's a low sugar hay um, so you can see um, that he's got his nice slow feeder hay net there. That's a mixture of Rhodes hay. Um, I feed a mixture of Rhodes hay, loosen hay, and sometimes some Teff hay. So that's my mixture of hay for them. Um, and as I said, low, like a low starch, low sugar hay. Um, and they've all got that. So you can see um, Ty at the back, Snippy and Dragon and Vicky over there. So they come in over daytime and they go in the yards and get their slow feeder hay net full of low sugar hay. Um, roads loosen and a mixture of a um, bit of teff in there as well. And they get a morning and afternoon feed. So once, as I said, I feed grain free. So I don't feed any grain at all. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go in now and I will show you um, their, their feed. So um, what I will show you now is their feed. Um, excuse my little um, tack room. It's an old caravan that is um, my feed room that I use. Um, I love my caravan. We're in the middle of what well, I'm going to be renovating it. Um, when I have some other storage and turning it into a little bit of a, a sort of coffee area and that. But at the moment it is our feed room. So I wanted to show you, um, I'll just make up two feeds for my two big horses and I'll show you what I'm feeding. Um, I've got hay in here as well so it's a little bit messy. So my bins. So what I feed, so generally as I said they get grain free diet. Um, I have um, run out of that one. I'll show you that in a moment. But grain-free diet. Now I'm in Australia, so we have a wonderful feed called lupins. Um, I love lupins. They're um, high in fibre, high in protein. Um, they have a good level of um, healthy fats for horses um, and really good at putting conditioning on. Um, so that's the wonderful thing about being in Australia is we have um, lupins. I'll show you that. I'm just going to close this window because it's a little bit breezy. Okay, so I'll get um, these two guys' feeds here, um, and I don't know if you can see it. I've got them down on the bottom here, but um, we'll get a little thing. Okie dokie. So I've got um, Tommy and Sam, which are my big fellows, and um, I'll show you what I feed. So I feed a morning and evening feed. Um, I'm very big on supplements. I have a pasture um, that at certain times of the year, the pasture can deplete um, their calcium and magnesium levels. So I'm really, really big on making sure that they get um, good levels, their minerals um, and good levels of calcium and magnesium. I'll go into that in a moment, but I basically just wanted to show you cracked lupins, uh, they're grain, so they're a grain, they're not a grain, they're um, like a pea. Um, so I feed cracked lupins, um, I'll show you that. Um, you can get extruded lupins, um, 
but I, my horses love the cracked lupins um, and because they're not a grain, they um, can digest um, a lot easier than what starch, starch does. They're low starch, they've got hardly any starch in it. So I'll just show you what, um, what lupins look like. I'll just get a little cup here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, actually, I'll put it out of the dipper. So these guys get, um, I give them half a dipper. So um, I'm not sure if you can see, there's the cracked lupins. Uh, so these guys get, they give them half a dipper of cracked lupins. Um, half a dipper of cracked lupins. Now I, Watch out, squiggles. I've got doggies in here. Now, I also feed a supplement. So, it's a combination. Now, this is called Pride's Easy Keeper. Once again, I'm in Australia. Um, I think we're very lucky to have some really good feed companies in Australia. I'm actually, um, I'm very big on a natural feed. I'm not one to feed um, a lot of processed feeds. This is what they call a balancer pellet. Um, and it's uh, a multivitamin and mineral um, pellet. And it's also got soybean meal in it, a good extruded soybean meal. Um, I'll put that back. It's got lupin hulls. Once again, it's grain free, loose and leaf meal, lupins, calcium phosphate, extruded full fat soybean, soybean meal, and then the Easy Keeper premium trace mineral and vitamin premix. So I have to be very careful with keeping their, their, their minerals up, their trace minerals up because of the type of pasture that I have here. Um, I'm on um, ex cattle and sheep country. The ground has been fertilised um, and it causes, it can cause a, depl a depletion in their minerals at certain times of the year. So I just wanted to show you, this is a um, balancer pellet. Okay, so they get, two cups of those. So all my horses get this, as I said, they all get the same thing pretty much. It just varies the quantities. Um, now I go into my supplements. So I will show you uh, salt. Um, I feed Himalayan salt. Okay, so I work with, I've, I, I follow through Feed XL. Um, I also follow, I've had a lot of pasture issues, so I also um, follow and get advice from calm, healthy horses. Um, because I do have pasture and it can get quite green and it, I've had some issues with them, um, lacking uh, nutrients because of the pasture situation, um, I, I, I do sort of put my feeds in Feed XL. It's a, a feed um, equine nutrition calculator, so I highly recommend um, Feed XL. So I give them a tablespoon of Himalayan salt morning and evening. Um, the, the feed, the Easy Keeper has salt in it as well, um, and they also have ad lib salt out in their paddock, so I need to keep the salt up to them. I feed um, calcium carbonate, so I feed a, a mineral supplement um, plus calcium carbonate. Um, so as you can see, I mean, this is going to vary for your horses. This is me um, with my situation, um, but it's really important to keep the vitamins and minerals up to your horse. But um, in saying that, I would suggest um, get onto an equine nutrition calculator or an equine nutritionist to make sure that you're um, supplementing them correct. Now you can see here, this is magnesium. So a magnesium oxide. Um, I, they're actually getting quite a bit of magnesium oxide at the moment. This is actually quite a lot of magnesium oxide. So it's double the calcium. No, it's not. It's um, uh, three, uh, two, third, two thirds calcium and three thirds um, magnesium at the moment, just because I've had these two guys um, react to a bit of the pasture. We're in autumn here in Australia. Now I feed BAM minerals. I need to top this up. Okay, so this. Show you this guys uh, where is my little dipper okay so I'm just going to top my band minerals up I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this out to show you but this is a mineral supplement so I use Belinda's amazing minerals um, she's an Australian equine nutritionist she works with um, 
uh, it's a very good supplement with horses that are on pasture. Uh, where's my scoopy? So they get, I've got scoops everywhere here, guys. Oopsie doopsie. Okay, so they get 60 grams of the minerals. They also get aloe vera extract. I've got to go back up into the house and fill up my aloe vera so they won't be getting it tonight. Um, aloe vera extract is very good for gut integrity, gut health, um, inflammation in the gut. Um, it can help with ulcers. As I'm not going to say it treats ulcers. You have to. That um, has been used in some recent studies with treating ulcers, but it's just very good if you've got a horse with ulcers um, and you've had them on medication. It's um, a combination of a gut. It's like a gut supplement. Um, but we can't give that tonight because... I'll run out. <laughs> I've got a big 20 litre thing up in the um, in the house. So that's their supplements. Now, I also like to feed sen oil. This is a flaxseed oil. Um, and I give these guys actually get, because these guys are 17 hands, 16, three and 17 hands. So I give them, I give them, um, they get half a cup at the moment, quarter to half a cup. Um, so, Generally, I give a quarter of a cup morning and night of the flaxseed oil. Um, and that is um, sen oil. Sen oil. That's an anti-inflammatory as well. It's a good level of high omega-3s. And um, I think that's it, except for... Um, the, I couldn't show you, um, the, oh, well, the aloe vera I showed you. So sometimes I feed, as you can see, I like my supplements, um, being working in racing for so long as well. Every now and then, now I know, um, every now and then, um, they get a little bit, I like to give them a bit of a tonic boost. I notice when their immune system gets low, um, one of my horses, Bonza, had a little bit of a snotty nose. Now this is amazing. Um. They, um, I give them some anatone. Um, anatone is a, like a tonic. It's a natural vitamin, chelated mineral and trace element tonic. It's a liquid supplement. It is used a lot in racing in at with the stables that I've worked in. Um, I might just give them a little blob now. Why not? Hey, because uh, I haven't had it. So I don't generally give this every day. Um, and what I do, I, I sort of sometimes give it about three times a week. Uh, 20 mils to uh, 50 mils just depending on the horse and and that so that's anatone so you can sort of see I like my supplements um, and once again it's because of my situation with the pasture as well if you've got a horse that hasn't got pasture issues um, you could probably just get away with um, the easy keeper as I said that's a good balancer pellet um, I recommend a nutritionist I'll just show you here oh my gosh this is so heavy having so many horses I have to buy everything in big bags guys so this is the um Belinda's amazing minerals okay and this works really good for me it has a uh, toxin binder in it um which I really like to feed um and it's balanced for, so it works with horses that are on pasture and being in Australia, this is custom made for New South Wales and Queensland equine. So she balances up the supplement um, depending on the type of pastures we have. So we have cool season grasses down here near Canberra and it's like a, you can see it's sort of like a, a um, salt, it's like a sort of salt consistency. So that's what I put in before. Okay, okay. Um, and that's it, guys. And now I just uh, go down and mix them up. I might just show you. So see, that's their, their little feed. So they'll get this twice a day. I just mix it up. Um, now I put a the oil in it to get the supplements to stick. Now these are, I only feed small hard feeds. This is actually quite a big feed um, for my guys, my big guys. Uh, you want to do um, ad-lib hay and keep your feeds small. Um, big feeds for horses is not good. 
uh, that um, their stomach can only take so much in any undigested feed, particularly grains, okay, will go undigested into the hind gut. So small frequent feeds are much better. I do the two feeds a day um, because they're in pasture of an um, evening and they have the ad lib hay. So you can see I've just mixed, mixed up my, there, that's nice and mixed up. Um, I'll just do the other one. <laughs> and so working out, talking about um, how much to feed your horse, never feed more um, in one meal. Uh, you feed um, 100 grams per 500 gram, 500 grams per 100 kilo of body weight. Okay, so 500 grams for a 500 kilo horse would be um, 500 times five. 2.5 kilos. <laughs> so that would be the max in dry matter weight that you would feed a 500 kilo horse in one um, in one go. Now, if you feed grain, you need to look at uh, the starch levels of that. Uh, I don't know those off the top of my head. Um, I don't feed grain at all. I don't, um, I know that it can really muck up the horse's digestive system and I, it's been a big learning curve for me. Um, with many years I've fed grain, barley and that to my horses, I um, don't any longer. Okay, so now we've got that all nice and mixed up. You can see it's only, these are, you can see my tub. What are they? They are, they're big tubs, 40 litres. So this is a 40 litre tub. Okay, now these guys, this is sort of a big feed for them. Um, I'm just going to go here, excuse my messy shelf here. I've got stuff everywhere because I've just transferred from somewhere else. I feed, I fermented, um, it's like a chaff. Now I feed one dipper of this. So you have a look. It's like loosen, it's a loosen and alfalfa fermented like a haylage chaff. So I feed a fermented haylage chaff. I'll find a bag actually, I'll show you. I'll show you. So that's it. So they get one dipper which weighs, I've weighed all this out. Um, 600 grams I'm pretty sure one dipper of this is or 300 might, might it be 300 at some um, yeah I can't remember but I'll, I'll show you what it looks like guys so it's, it's a fermented chaff so this is much better for their gut um, I'm, I'm very much um, like to take care of the gut um, hence the reason grain free small feeds so you can see that that is a fermented um, alfalfa if you're in Australia loosen um, chaff and they just get that now I'm going to just pop over here um, sometimes when I've had horses that have um, they've had them scoped and they've been on um, ulcer meds and things like that um, I do like gut supplements it's a bit um, I haven't got any horses on this at the moment. Um, I have them on aloe vera, but Colada Gastroid Recovery I've found really good um, as a gut health supplement. Um, if a horse is, yeah, to, um, I always recommend having your horse scope for ulcers because you just never know um, and then treat them accordingly uh, and then with what your vet says and then a good uh, gut supplement afterwards um, I really do recommend. I'm using aloe vera at the moment um, and I am using something else uh, but aloe vera grain free and I do use gastro aid recovery um, sometimes as well so that's a powder so we'll just sit that over there okay so you'll see here this is their feed this is um it's actually quite a big feed um for my big guys i try as i said i try and keep their feeds small but uh, that's one's one 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 is um he's 21 and they're 16 and 21 so they're older off the track thoroughbreds um, and they don't hold you know they don't hold weight really well so um let's um, mix this up and then I will bring it out and I will show you. So see I mix it up um, and that is there, little feed there, big. Okay, so let's bring it out. So I'll show you what it's like out here if you follow me. You'll see here's Sammy. Okay, so Sam, just wait, Sam, just wait for your dinner. I'm climbing through the fence. He's been a bit naughty. Just wait. So Sam, put it on a, I've got a little clip here actually so he doesn't knock it over. 
there you go that's sammy's feed so that's sam he's my 21 year old and i'll go through here for tommy hey tom okay and this is tommy there you go big boy there's your feed so i clip it up um, and as you can see tommy and sammy okay there we go he's got his hay net in here as well a uh, nice big slow feeder hay net. I'll show you the slow feeder hay nets actually. Just let me show you this one. Okay, so there's the slow feeder hay net. Um, I'll just sneak through. Uh, this electric fencing's not on, and Sammy's been leaning on it. But that's the slow feeder hay net. Um, this is a really nice big one. Uh, mixture of um, mainly roads, a bit of loosen in there. Um, I don't think we have any teff lift in there. Um, yeah, so these are the slow feeder hay nets. Um, they've all, they all have one. Okay, so we'll just pop this back for Tom. Just wait, Nini. Nini's wondering where her dinner is. Okay. Has Sammy munching away there? <laughs> hey Sam. Okay, so um, I just thought I'd show you. I'll show you. Um, I'll get um, one of these bags out here just to show you. It's one of my fibre. Depending on where you are in the world, but you have, I know there's hay leaf everywhere, um, but this is, you can see I've sort of ripped it up here. But this is the Fibre Protect, um, that's the back of it. It's a Fibre Protect, um, from, it's a, um, a haylage um, type feed. And I can see, you can see the starch levels, sugars and starches is low. So um, that's, that's what I, that's the, the or instead of chaff um, and the alfalfa. And... That's it guys, I think that's that's pretty much the daily routine. I've got Junior weaving in the back there because he's, <laughs> I've been doing feed, a feed routine and um, normally I've got all their feeds ready but I just wanted to demonstrate with um, these guys. Um, I do have, I'll show you, I might just show you the pasture out the back here, you can see it. But you'll see out the back there I've got pasture, so they've got access to all of that. Um, I have had a lot of problems with pasture, so as much as it always looks wonderful having all this green lush grass or even, you know, if it's dried off a bit, I have had a lot of problems with it. Um, with um, It's high, some of the pasture that I have can be very high in fructin. Um, fructin and um, it can cause yeah it's like feeding high starch feeds and especially at certain times of the year like autumn and spring uh, so hence the reason I do um, feed a good a good level of minerals and um, make sure that their mineral levels are you know I'm on top of that um, vitamins and minerals so yeah I hope um, that has um, been um, helpful and if you have any questions um, pop them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.